It's the morning star drive on 17.8 You soaring up with sky, now's the time, don't delay I'm sitting in my ride and it's time to fly So let's realign, just listen and fill your mind. I'm burning with desire and the passion Nobody can stop me when I'm like this I got my head in the zone, you know I'm on the morning star drive, you know Hey guys, it's Wednesday, January 6th, 2021, and this is the Morning Star Drive on 117.8. We're on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe, follow us on SoundCloud, and make sure to support us on Patreon. Now, today we'll get some coronavirus updates, current news from around the world, and realizing from the Tuesday morning message. So, yes, the same question as always is, how are you guys doing in the middle of the week? It is Wednesday, and I'm super thankful for all of you joining us here on the Morning Star Drive. Looking forward to a great awesome service tonight so let's start the day well with today's show just want to remind everyone to keep liking and commenting and i want to hear from you guys and see how you're doing write your questions requests and testimonies too all right remember this week's sunday edition have you guys seen it already it is yuan yu campus student from singapore so make sure to catch that interview and next edition we're going to be going to the next door neighbors and we're going to be meeting a member from malaysia so look forward to another inspiring interview uh, also, open Bible studies on Monday nights have begun again, so that will be posted on Patreon. It, I think it's already posted on Patreon now. So let's get into today's show. Who is today's featured artist of the day? And yes, we are still going into the newest songs that we've uh, received from a lot of our member artists. And last, first and foremost, it's going to be, our featured artist is going to be The Sky from Japan. And they were, the songs aren't as recent, but we discovered them very, very late. So this is very new for us here on the Morning Star Drive. So Sky, The Sky from Japan, this song is Spring Emotion. And then we'll go into another new song from PGY from Paper Music Associates in Korea. And that song is called Wherever. Okay, wherever, and that is a new song. I think we've only heard it once on our program. And last but not least is the newest song that came out for PEMD from America. Oh, not from America. It's basically the entire Western world, right? And uh, that song is called Loving Lives. So these are three new songs. Uh, very, very recent. I hope that uh, all of us here can enjoy them and just give glory through them and just give... You know, we give thanks and glory to the Holy Trinity for all that they've given to us, all these talents and talented people in this history. But also realize uh, these, we should be thankful to these people also who are actually uh, putting the Lord's inspiration into action and making this music. All right, everyone. So let us support and welcome our member artists for today.
당신이 없는 이태원에 불빛은 한없이 어두워요 여기엔 나 말고 아무도 없는 건가요 아무것도 보이지가 들리지가 않는 거예요 맞아요 도시는 지금 텅 비었어요 심장이 멈추어버린 내 차가운 가슴과 같아요 눈물이 떨어져 빗물과 하나가 됐을 때 머리를 울리는 당신의 외침이 들려 나의 이름을 불러 그러면 내가 너의 옆에 있을게 부르고 또 불러 그러면 네가 나의 옆에 있을 거야 보이지 않는다고 없는 게 아니니까 아무리 어두워도 내일은 오니까 태양의 등불은 어디에나 있어줄게 Thank you.
To those who love the Lord, He entrusts the most precious things on earth. His most precious things on earth are our lives. To those who love the Lord, He entrusts the most precious work on earth. His most precious work on earth is caring for lives. What is love? What is love? What is That was P-E-M-D, and that song was Loving Lives. Really inspiring song. Hope you guys really enjoyed that one. Before that was a new song also from PGY, Paper Music Associates in Korea. That song is Wherever. And the featured artist of the day was The Sky from Japan, and that song was uh, Spring Emotions. All right, so that brings us into the coronavirus updates for today. It is the middle of the week. It is the hump day. It is Wednesday, and I hope that uh, you guys are having an awesome, awesome week so far. First week of the new year. So uh, in the world right now, 86.1 million cases with 1.8 million deaths, and the death rate, morta mortality rates down to 2.16%. Uh, country by country, top six countries going by daily infection rates. It is the U.S. with 21.3 million cases with 362,000 deaths and they're at 1.7% mortality rate. India, 10.3 million cases, 149,000 deaths, 1.45%. Brazil, 7.7 .7 million cases, 196,000 deaths, 
and their mortality rate, rate went up to 2.54%, the only of the top six. Russia, 3.2 million cases, 58,000 deaths at 1.81%. The UK, 2.7 million cases, 75,000 deaths at 2.78%. And Turkey rounding up the top six with 2.2 million cases, 21,000 deaths at 0.96%. Uh, Sweden remains at 2% and Belgium at 3.03%. Uh, let's take a look at daily infection rates for uh, yesterday. Uh, the U.S., 190,000 cases in a day. Yeah, it's it's mind-blowing, guys. They're more than three times the next person, right? So uh, the U.K. is at 58,000 cases, Russia at 23,000 cases, Brazil at 20,000 cases, India at 16,000 cases, and Turkey at 13,000. So if you think about, like, if you, you see how big the U.S. is with their case rate, um, they are more than the next five, next five largest uh, daily infection increases combined. That's how big it is, right? Uh, over here in Southeast Asia, uh, Indonesia, 6,700 cases in a day. Uh, Malaysia remains around 1,700 cases. And the Philippines is still under 1,000 cases with 959 cases in a given day. So let's get into some coronavirus, not coronavirus, daily uh, news, the current news for today. And we're going to start with India and the coronavirus. And good news in India is, uh, India approves vaccines for the, the UK Oxford AstraZeneca uh, vaccine. However, they also approved a vaccine from Bharat Biotech. And this is kind of a controversial thing. So uh, India has formally approved the emergency use of two coronavirus vaccines as it prepares for one of the world's biggest inoculation drives. So the drugs uh, regulatory authority gave the green light to the jabs developed by AstraZeneca with Oxford University and by local firm Bharat Biotech. Now, Prime Minister Modi called it a decisive turning point, and India plans to inoculate 300 million people on a priority list this year. So it's recorded the second highest number of infections in the world, with more than 10 million confirmed cases to date, and about 150,000 people have died. Now, on Saturday, India held a nationwide drill to prepare more than 90,000 healthcare workers to administer vaccines across the country, which has a population of 1.3 billion people, right? This is with a B. Uh, the Drugs Controller General of India said both manufacturers had submitted data showing their vaccines were safe to use. However, opposition politicians and some doctors have criticized a lack of transparency in the approval process. The local vaccine from Bharat Biotech was approved despite the absence of data on how efficient it can be. It has yet to go through large-scale trials. The Drugs Controller General said that Bharat Biotech's uh, Covaxin, right, Covaxin, sorry, Covaxin was safe and provides a robust immune response. And um, they approved it in public interest as an abundant precaution in clinical trial mode to have more options for vaccinations, especially in case of infection by mutant strains. Now, there's something I need to talk about India, guys. India makes about 60% of the vaccines globally, and they plan to immunize about 300 million people by July 2021, and it will prioritize healthcare workers, emergency services, and those who are clinically vulnerable because of age or pre-existing conditions. So India's existing vaccination program already reaches about 55 million per year administering about 390 million free jabs against a dozen diseases. So it stocks and tracks the vaccines through a well-oiled electronic system. So that's kind of what's going on over there in India. But good news is that at least they've approved the other one for uh, the AstraZeneca Oxford one. Uh, the India one, don't really have much data on it. So that's why it's a little bit suspicious. But uh, we're going to go all the way over to the Middle East. In the Middle East, uh, not very good news. Iran resumes enriching uranium to 20% purity at the Fordo facility. So they have, uh, Iran has resumed enriching the uranium. Uh, it's, it, this is the most significant breach of its 2015 deal with world powers to end nuclear sanctions. So the global nuclear watchdog confirmed the process had begun at the underground Fordo plant on Monday. Enriched uranium can be used to make reactor fuel, but also nuclear bombs. So weapons-grade uranium is actually 90% purity, and they're going to go to 20%. So um, a, a U.S. State Department spokesperson accused Iran of pursuing a campaign of nuclear extortion. Iran, which insists that its nuclear program is peaceful, has rolled back a number of commitments under the deal. Right, So they're reneging right now. It has said it is re retaliating for the U.S. economic sanctions that were reinstated in 2018 by President Trump when he abandoned the accord, also known, known as the... Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. 
right? So in a separate development, Iran's Revolutionary Guards said that they had seized a South Korean flagged chemical tanker in the Gulf due to the repeated infringement of maritime environmental laws. South Korea's foreign ministry demanded its immediate release of the, the Hanguk Kemi and said a South Korean anti-piracy unit stationed in the Strait of Hormuz had been dispatched to the area. So under the nuclear deal, Iran was allowed to enrich uranium only up to 3.67% purity to stockpile no more than 300 kilograms of the material to operate no more than 5,060 of its oldest and least efficient centrifuges and was required to cease enrichment at Fordo altogether. But Iran has taken steps to reduce those commitments since President Trump reinstated U.S. sanctions to compel it to negotiate a replacement of an agreement he said was defective at its core. So the steps have included building up the stockpile of low enrichment uranium producing 4.5% enriched uranium, restarting advanced centrifuges, and resuming enrichment activities at Fordo. So the Iranian foreign minister um, stressed on money that the measures were fully reversible upon full compliance by all parties. So the only thing you need to know, guys, is why is 20% purity significant? Because it's not 90, 90 weapons grade is 90%, but they're doing 20%. So why is it significant? Experts at the Arms Control Association said last month that 120 kilograms of uranium enriched to 20% was about half the amount of uranium that, when enriched to weapons grade, 90% or more, was necessary for one bomb. They also warned that the production of highly enriched uranium would pose a more serious near-term proliferation risk. So that's what's going on over the, in um in the Middle East. And in Asia, we're going to head over to Korea. And there's uh, alarming statistics as South Korea sees more deaths than births in the year 2020. Yes, South Korea recorded more deaths than births in 2020 for the first time ever, raising fresh alarm in the country, which already has the world's lowest birth rate, guys. Only 275,800 babies were born last year, down 10% from 2019. Um... Uh, uh, and 2019 was 307,000, right? So the figures prompted the Interior Ministry to call for fundamental changes to its policies. So a declining population puts immense strain on a country. So apart from increased pressure on public spending as demand for healthcare systems and pensions rise, a declining youth population also leads to labor shortages that have a direct impact on the economy. And last month, the president launched several policies aimed at addressing the low birth rate, including cash incentives for families. So under the scheme, from 20, 2022, every child born will receive a cash bonus of about $2,000 to help cover prenatal expenses on top of a monthly stipend of $300. $300 a month until the baby turns one years old. So the incentive will increase to $500,001 every month from 2025. So what's what's the reason behind South Korea's uh, falling birth rate? Largely, it's because in South Korea, women struggle to achieve a balance between work and other life demands. So uh, some of the conditions there are not family-friendly in South Korea. And that's why a lot of women reconsider their plans to have children. Like, for instance, people, women will get brand new jobs, feel anxious about taking time off for maternity leave. And uh, a lot of people tell the woman that it's safer to build their career first before having a baby. Also, soaring real estate prices are another major issue uh, that because of rising property prices, it discourages young couples, right, from having children. And of course, in order to have children, you need to have your own home. Right, but if the price keep going up, it's discouraging people to have it. It's basically an impossible dream there, and also uh, the new incentives by the government is unconvincing for a lot of people there. Right, so it's very very expensive to raise a child, and the government providing an extra couple hundred dollars is not going to solve the problem. So that is another issue that's going on over there, all the way in South Korea. Very interesting. I didn't know that they were the lowest birth rate uh, in the world. All right, so now let's get into a time of praise and worship for this first week during the first 15 days of giving glory to God. It has been amazing and awesome these last uh, five, six days. We're going to have something else coming today too, so I'm really excited about that also. Today, we're going to sing uh, some really happy, fun praise. We're going to start with the wedding banquet of love. And then, of course, because we are so thankful, we're going to sing eternally thankful next. And then, last but not least, we'll slow things down with... Um, uh, an oldie but a goodie from 2015 it is Lord I call upon your name Lord I call upon your name 
Now the time's come Time for us all to sing Sing the new songs Everyone come and dance Wave your arms, move your legs now Shake your head all around Move and shake your whole body Let's sing the new songs of this new mystery Let's go Let's all run All the praise and glory We offer only to heaven Everyone rise, come on Move your body, feel the music, dance as one Just wave both of your hands, shuffle your feet While matching the beat and singing with happiness ha! Full of joy, God and the Spirit watch They can help but laugh Dancing along, dancing with them, we are strengthened for us of the new story. Let's make this wedding banquet for a thousand years as we fulfill God's perfect world of love. We'll make it awesome. We'll run without regrets as our souls and spirits live as owners Forever up in heaven That great eternal world We're loving God forever Loving the Holy Spirit now and always We will live with the Lord forever Let's make this wedding banquet For a thousand years as we fulfill God's perfect world of love We'll make it awesome We'll run without regrets as our souls and spirits live as owners Forever up in heaven That great eternal world We're loving God forever Loving the Holy Spirit now and always We will live with the Lord forever Forever Jump, 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 jump Kung cha 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 Kung cha 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 Jump, 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 jump Kung cha 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 Kung cha 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 Jump, 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 jump Kung cha 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 Kung cha 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 Jump, 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 jump Kung cha 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 Kung cha 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 cha
an oldie but a goodie lord i call upon your name way back to the time of uh the rapture right 2015 actually it was made before that it was just redone in 2015 uh before that was eternally thankful and i hope you got your blood pumping with that and the wedding banquet of love all right so uh that's bringing us into a time of the word study for today and i'm gonna be honest with you guys i joined the last two ggg's like live with sunstein we can't take notes uh, it was pretty intense, but I'm going to be honest with you. I, I don't remember a lot of it. I got re- to re-listen to some of them because it's just this intense moment where you're just looking at the Lord. You know he's looking at you and you're not even concentrating on the words. You're concentrating on the response and like, yes, yes, I want to hear the words, you know, and you're like, it's, it's really it's really mind-boggling. I'm not sure. Like, like a lot of us did it on uh, Monday, I believe, right? For Asia. And I believe on Sunday, I believe the leaders uh, in even in America and all around the world were all joining for that one too. But yeah, it was it was quite intense. And I was really, really... Um, it's, it's exciting though. It's really, really exciting. Uh, so I'm just go over some stuff from the Tuesday message. And I hope that... You know what, guys? We have so much word these days. It's, it's, it's Wednesday. And guess what? We're going to be like Sunday, Monday... Tuesday pre-dawn, Tuesday GGG, Wednesday, uh, Wednesday GGG. That's five messages we're going to have by today, plus the Wednesday service tonight, which is going to make it six services, right? That's six services within the first Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, in the first four days, guys. So we are, we have a plethora, an abundance, a tidal wave of word um, that it's in, you can't even measure it, what, what we're getting right now, so... It's really true what uh, Sunstein was saying, right? He was saying that, hey, guys, we are going, uh, what, what we're going through right now is in order for us to change and do things in a new way, we need tons of word. The more word we have, the more we can change. So uh, just a couple points I'm going to go over because I know that you guys are, your, your brains are farting, right? Because there's so much, it's just oozing out of your ears. Uh, and I, we're going to start with like, of course, we're doing things in, in new ways. And one of the points I like from the Tuesday message, which you probably, guys probably have already forgot from now because we're getting so many messages, right? Uh, is that you need to, when we do things in new ways, uh, there are always big benefits. For instance, it is easier. Uh, it is quicker and there's, it's easier to do if we do things in new ways. So we have to always study to do things in a new way. Right. And the one thing that's kind of interesting is, is when Sunstein brought up, like, you may think you're old, like, man, we just did something in a new way. But there are boundless and endless, limitless ways to do things. From the moment you're born, you can always do something better. And it reminds me of this, um, this amazing quote that Sunstein gave. I'm not sure how many years ago, must have been at least a decade, when he talks about what is the biggest limitations of human beings. Because he's talking about there's no limitations to human beings. Human beings can keep improving better and better and better and better and better. So what's the one thing? What's the one thing that limits all human beings? And it's time. If we could live forever, we would continue, continue endlessly to improve more and more. And one example he gave is he said that we will always beat the world records in everything. Like, for instance, the 100-meter dash. 100-meter dash, there'll always be someone who's faster. Always. 
There'll always be a faster person. There'll always be a new world record. Of course, we'll never hit zero, but we're always going to be faster. It's going to be like 9.5, then 9.49, 9.48, 9.45, and then you're going to be like 9.4999, 9.4998. Like it's just, you're getting faster, right? It is getting faster, but... um, the thing that's the thing that binds or bounds all human beings is basically time itself, right? We are boundless in the ways we can do things ever since birth, and we can learn endlessly. We can go on endlessly. There is no ending, and until death, you can always live a, a more like a better and what's what would be the right right word here? A better and more efficient. I'm not sure what the right word would be for this, right? You can always live better. You can always live uh, in, in, a, in a more efficient or proficient or whatever way you want to do. There's always a way until death, right? And our problem, and I think this is the thing that holds us back, is when we get complacent, right? People get used to living in a certain way and they don't want to change it. Even though we can always go higher and there's always a better, better way of doing it. There's always a way of making things um, sound better, look better, whatever it is. It's just that we got complacent and we just don't want to change and go through that again. And the only reason we fail to do things in a new way is because we stopped doing it. Basically, we, we kind of got lazy and we stopped wanting to change. Right. There's a, and, the, and then he goes into the word. And this was even cool. Right. He's like, look at the word. How many levels of the word are there? Why? Because when he says that I've never spoken about the same thing twice, sometimes we're like, hey, I've heard this title before. We've had this title before about evangelism. We had this title about doing new things. We've had this title like this, title like that, title like this and that and that, right? We, we, we talk about it, but he's like, no, but there's so many different levels of the word too. There is a, there's many different levels of the physical way we can look at the word, the soul level way we can look at the word, the spiritual level, and then he says there's also God level. Like this sounds like a video game. It doesn't sound like a video game. It's like, you know, um, you know when they would ask you the difficulty of the game, like you're going to play like a, a game that's, you know, you're fighting people. It's like, what level would you want to play? Um, the physical level, soul level, spiritual level, or God mode, right? So it's like, yeah, there's, there's so many different levels. And it goes up to God level. And I'm like, wow. It's endless, endless levels of steps. And we're always going to find more if we look for it. And this is something that we have to really think about too in life is that we will never have an ending. It'll never be a, the, the only stopping we have is ourselves or death itself. And this is why people can never really complain. It's kind of we stopped ourselves when it comes to prayer, when it comes to reading the Bible, understanding the word, how we listen to the word, how much we focus. All these things are dependent upon us. Is We're the ones that are stopping because God, because God is telling us right now, it is endless. You got to search for it, but it's endless. You can always do it better. You can always do it greater. You can always realize more. Which means, where is the problem? The problem is when we quit, when we stop thinking. Or sometimes people rely on others. Like they just keep waiting for someone else to come up with a, like a, a better teaching or a better way. And then they just follow it, right? So we have to be those that understand. God is telling us straight out, there is no limit. The only limitation you have is either de- is death. However, none of us are going to die, which means what? If none of us are going to die, that actually means that the only thing stopping us is our laziness, complacency, or we're just like, oh, is it, is it really worth it, right? You will always find something more, right? So we have to keep looking, keep looking until we find it. And with these things, if, we, if we're very, very detailed and clear with the things that we find, he says we'll even gain eternal things. And this is why we have to challenge more, keep moving forward, like just keep pushing and pushing, right? I... I like this. This is a very interesting, it's like a, it's like a paradox, not a paradox. It's kind of like a paradox. He's like, you know, don't let anyone choose for you. You choose your wife. You choose your decisions. You make your choices. No one can make you do anything. It's like, okay, that, that makes sense. Right. But then he says, but in the spiritual world, God has to choose for you. Right. And I'm like, huh, how does that make sense? And the only thought that came to my mind, I, th- I thought, I was like, Holy Spirit, what, 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 how does that make sense? The only thing that came, why that makes more sense in the spiritual world, because there's no one in the world that knows you better than you. And that's why you have to make your own choice. And that's why you'll still even make mistakes. But when it comes to the spiritual world where God is, right? When when we're talking about God, God knows everything. He knows what's best for us. And that's why the biggest difference in this world and that world is the person that knows ourselves the best in the physical world is us. And the person in the spiritual world that knows us is going to be God even better than we know ourselves. 
right? And that, that, that was something that I was thinking about, like, oh, yeah, it's so true. Because even when it comes to God's palace, like even the natural temple, God designed everything and basically something just became the body of it. Why? Because it's his, right? So, yeah, you know, oh, what about that one point that I thought was quite uh, intriguing? The intriguing point was, why do you think God is telling us to do something in a new way? Because there is something to be gained. There is something there that you don't see that God has planned and in store that if you do it in a new way, something's going to happen. And I think this is something that was really interesting. And I think we have to think about this very, very carefully, guys, because there is something to be gained. We just don't know what it is yet. There is something. We don't know what it is. But all we know is the route to get there, the road to get to gaining something new, whatever God wants for us this year, is to do it in a new way, right? The new way, like I said before, right, in the very beginning of the message, it is easier. It is more comfortable. And the greatest example, because we saw it yesterday um, on Tuesday's um, GGG. Remember when the golf carts are pulling them around? That is ingenious, right? It's like, and, and then the way he explains is like, come on, guys, think about it. Sledding on the sports field, you never have to climb up like the 150 meters, climb all the way up the hill every single time you come down. But you're, and if you fall over, you're not falling down on a hill. You just, you're on the sports field. You just fall and roll over. It's done. It is completely a new way, right? And, and sometimes it's like, yeah, that old way of just climbing up the hill every single time is primitive. Unless one day we have a ski resort with an actual ski lift in Wilmington. That would be crazy. But either way, right? That would be so amazing, wouldn't it? So it's just that example itself. You see that it's easier. It's more comfortable. And you go as long as the electric cart goes, which means, remember you saying that I was just pulling them around for like 200, 300, 40, you know, you could just pull them around for meters and meters and meters and meters where on the sled, you are limited to the length. And it's like 100 meters, you stop, you got to climb back up, stop, you know, and it's like 150 meters. But this one, he's just driving a cart, they're going fast and, you know, and they, they, they tie like two or three sleds together. So, you know, that's, it's, it's quite uh, amazing uh, how Sunstein is doing it first, right? He's doing it first. And that, that was in the message too. At the, near the end of the message was, hey, I'm the head. So I have to go through it first, just like a dog goes through a dog door, right? I don't know what you call it. It's a dog trap, a dog door, right? The head goes in first and the body follows. And he's like, I'm telling you everything I'm doing from the week before, Right? The reason why he can say that we are gaining because if we do things in a new way, because he is gaining from doing things in a new way. Right? Don't do the same things as 2020 because you're going to gain nothing from it. Right? We're not going to gain anything from it. We're going to just do the exact same as the year before. We have to do it in a new way. Right? In the end, right? In the end, uh, this is also in the message. It's basically about whether you, it's whether you did it or not. That's going to be the main thing. It's nothing else, but did you do it or not? And that's going to be the key thing that we have to think about more than anything else, right? And, uh, ooh, I like that. Um, I really like that, that point he made. It's like, you don't have to go out in the snow and pray. You don't have to go outside or go up to the mountains to pray. Pray at home, but I'll give you a challenge. I'll show you, the, I'll, I'll tell you something that's even just as hard. Just try, you know, some people go, you know, I used to pray in the mountains overnight. Just try in your home to pray overnight. See how hard it is just to pray overnight. I'm like, wow, that's so true. Like we're already, like we're already ahead of ourselves where we can't even pray all night anyways. Like we haven't even challenged ourselves to that, let alone say we're going to go into the mountains and pray. Like I went to the mountains and prayed once, like in the snow uh, when I was in Korea in I think 2009 or 10 and man I did 40 minutes and I was like shivering my knees were wet it was I was on my knees in the snow it was crazy guys I can't imagine what it is overnight but I'm thinking to myself I've tried a seven hour prayer uh condition man that is hard it really really is we got to challenge ourselves guys before you even tried the hard stuff like climb Mount Everest and go pray like 10 hours on top of Mount Everest, it's more of, hey, can you even pray overnight anyways? And that's the first thing we have to start thinking about, right? Is can we even challenge that? And then from there, we can challenge the next point, right? So I, I hope that, uh, you know, a lot, and I'm sure, you know, guys, I'm pretty sure that uh, everything you're hearing about right now, what I'm telling you right now, is you guys are probably even thinking to yourselves like, like, man, I barely even remember these points from the Tuesday message, right? Because we've been getting so many messages over and over again. But uh, what I'm telling you guys is, yeah, I know I can understand because it's 15 days of giving glory. We're getting a message every day, sometimes twice a day. And on Wednesday, we're probably going to get, yeah, twice, twice a day on Wednesday too. 
Fridays twice a day, Wednesdays twice a day, Tuesdays twice a day. It's, 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 it's going to be intense, guys, but I hope that we can give glory in the greatest and the most amazing way together with the Lord. All right? So that is uh, the word study for today. I hope that uh, helps you guys out. We're going to get some more word uh, we're gonna get some more word uh, today for the GGG. Then on top of it, we're gonna get even more for uh, uh, the Wednesday service. So I hope that everyone is going to enjoy the abundant words we're receiving right now during the first 15 days. All right, that moves us into the song of choice for today. And I chose this song. This is one of the songs I played probably in the first month of the Morning Star Drive. And really, really good song. Uh, it's a song recorded by an American singer-songwriter, uh, Christina Perry. Okay, and this is from the movie The Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn, Part 1. And uh, this is from 2011, right? And uh, this song, uh, I like it. It's meaningful because even the title itself is called A Thousand Years, about loving someone for a thousand years. And for us, it's literal, right? Like literally for this thousand years of the Complete Testament time. So let's listen to Christina Perry. And this song is called uh, A Thousand Years. <laughs>
is Christina Perry with the song A Thousand Years. It's a really inspiring song, isn't it? Mainly because we kind of give it more meaning uh, because of the title itself. So, yeah, very, very grateful and thankful uh, that uh, you guys have joined us here, uh, coming all the way into our last segment for today. So, today's last segment, uh, you know, I just wanted to testify once again, uh, amazing year, guys. It really, really is an amazing year. So many amazing things have happened, and it's only like the fifth, sixth day. It's the sixth day today, right? January 6th, if you can believe that. We have done so much that we have so much to be thankful for right now. As I was saying before, we've got so much word ever since January 1st, which is last Friday, because we had the GGG, or we had the service on Friday. Saturday, we had a GGG. Sunday, we had service. Monday, we had GGG. Tuesday, we had pre-dawn plus GGG. Wednesday, we have, you know, once again, GGG plus Wednesday service. Like, it, it is really inspiring. And the words that 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 need to be spoken there is so much word to be spoken that something's even talking about i'll talk for like hours 40 hours i'll talk i have i have so much to say there's so many things to say but i can't say all of them right now but he need by the end of his life right he really does need to say all the things he needs to say like even yesterday the thing that was kind of cool what i like yesterday um Yesterday, we we joined as male face stars. And you guys, like, since he talked about it, like, beginning to the end, right? He kept talking about it. He kept talking about, like, oh, male face stars here. And I was like, wow. And I was so happy. Like, I'm not trying to, like, rub anything in at all. I'm not. But I'm just saying I was so happy because um, on, the, on, the, on the Monday when I was joining the, I was on Zoom for the, for the, the Asia, Asia, like, Asia was joining in on the, the 4th. And then it was the male face stars the day after. And we just found out about it the night before. Like, I'm serious. It was like 10 p.m. We just found out about it. We had not, no preparation or anything else. And we were just getting ready and stuff. And all the, you know, thank God to the Korean male face stars that did a lot of preparation. They were amazing. Um, and um, it, it was so... I don't know. I don't know what, how to say. Well, something at the end of it, what he said to us was like after every, all the broadcast ended. Of course, he didn't talk to us on the screen. It, it ended, but he basically said that today's was so like he really, really enjoyed it, and he was like so happy because it looked like everyone prepared a lot, right? Uh, but the thing that made me oh yeah, now I remember now the thing that made me really happy was on the Monday. I was like, oh, you know, I wonder. I, like I never wondered once did Sunseem ever see me. But, uh, you know, kind of you wonder in your head, like, oh, you know, I wonder if I'll see myself on the screen. But, you know, I never did. Like, I'm like, you know, when, remember when it shows, like, all, like, the screen of all the people on Zoom, and it's, like, flipping, I'm like, oh, where am I? Where am I? And I couldn't see myself. Like, I was like, ah, oh, too bad. But it's okay. It's not a big deal. However, uh, yesterday, I was like, God, please, you know, show me a sign. I actually prayed about it. It's like, God, can you, uh, can you show that, that, you know, can you please, like, show me? Like, that it's like that's the sign that I know that you're watching me and of course I know he's watching me even without that and it was so cool because in the middle smack you know it was like um uh what should we call it he was uh it showed a view of kind of behind Sunseam so you see Sunseam's like back profile side back plus it shows a screen and I was there at the very bottom middle the bit very bottom middle of the screen because I, I have a very you know the heart sign that I have is a very um, like a different color than everyone else's and uh, like I could see it clearly it's like oh there I am and I was like oh god you know like yes you see me right and uh, you know for me it's, it's so small but it was something that I was really really moved and thankful to God for because all of a sudden I just popped up on the screen and I was like going um like, I, I believe, you know, that, that God was watching and everything else. But it's kind of cool when you actually see it there. Like, Sun seems watching us, right? And I, you guys, have you guys ever had that? Did you guys have that on Monday or Sunday for those of you guys who are joining the Zoom? Where it's like, um, it's like, welcome Sun Seam. And then Sun Seam like stops and looks at the screen. And then you start waving. And then he waves back. And you're like, was that me? Like, did he literally look at me? And... Honestly, I don't even care. Like, I don't even want to know who was on the screen. I just, I am just happy. <laughs> I'm just happy to believe, just to believe that he saw me waving any wave back. Because for me, that was like interaction. And that was great for me too. Guys, this is, um, I hope we like, uh, you know, uh, participate as much as you can. This is being on stage, 
being on the Zoom is being on stage, right? This is where, you know, of course, Sazim is, God is watching like all the people in the 70 different countries, but when you're on that Zoom, it's like you're part of the stage and Sazim is watching and he's reacting to you guys. And it does make a difference because you can see that when people prepare or when when the the, the, the response is crazy, guys, the, man, if you guys saw uh, what, what the male face stars were wearing and all their decorations, it was like out of this world extravagant right i'm pretty i'm talking pretty extravagant yeah it was crazy i was so it was so funny and it almost felt like the fulfillment of the message when Sunseam says you have to find ways you know have to study and find the ways that make god happy and it looks like the male face stars in korea because they had more time to prepare they were finding the way to make god happy like and uh it was, it was like it went long right since was just so happy poem after poem what about the time when he just stood up out of nowhere just starts singing and he's like nah, nah. <gasps> da -da -da. Da, 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 right and it was like out of nowhere he just stands up and he just starts singing and i was like Woo! so it, it was it was really intense and I, I i was really really happy about that too but super thankful super grateful that uh you guys uh you know that we are able to do this together and i'm, I'm even thankful like i told you guys on monday that we are starting the rebranding of our espresso with sky channel uh, and we're going to rebrand it after the giving glory because i think that is the key we got to give glory first before anything else if we want success uh it comes first with giving thanksgiving and glory to the holy trinity especially these first 15 days that will spell out the entire the rest of the year uh, is determined by these 15 days right so Crazy grateful and thankful. Hope you guys are also enjoying your time watching the GGGs. Uh, and uh, it's day six, guys. It's day six right now. We're not even halfway there, right? Halfway point is on uh, Friday. That'll be day eight. So super thankful and grateful. I hope you guys are enjoying uh, these podcasts. Go ahead. Um, I know that we're already in talks with some more people. Going to add more segments, right? Some more special segments that I hope that uh, you guys are going to enjoy. So everyone, have an amazing, wonderful, and awesome day. And I hope that you guys um, have an amazing service tonight. And we'll see you guys tomorrow on the Morning Star Drive on 117.8. It's the morning star drive on 17.8. You saw run up with sky, now's the time, don't delay. I'm sitting in my ride and it's time to fly. So let's realign, just listen and fill your mind. I'm burning with desire and the passion. Nobody can stop me when I'm like this. I got my head in the zone, you know. I'm on the morning star drive, you know. I'm burning with desire and the passion. Nobody can stop me when I'm